Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're safe and well. Well, this is a double unboxing actually. The first one will be very quick, and that's what I am showing you now. Let's see what it is. There we go. It is the new, or the relatively new, Spectrum NX8. Those of you who follow my channel would have known that I purchased an NX6 about five months ago, four to five months ago. The intention was to use it as a backup to my DX9. Now my DX9 has a scroll wheel problem, but I realized that I use more than six channels on my DX9, because it's a nine channel transmitter. So when I transfer them over to the NX6, I lose functionality on some of my aircraft. This is the solution, an NX8. Now I actually purchased, and I don't mind telling you, this NX8 for £198. The reason I got this for £198 was because I sold my NX6. In fact, I didn't sell it. What happened is I put it into my local model store. They said, well, we know we're going to sell this. We'll give you this amount of money towards your NX8. When we sell your NX6, we'll just keep it. So this is it. It is an NX8. What's to show about it? Not much. I won't be going through everything because it looks the same as an NX6. Very quick look at it. NX8, got some lovely stickers with it. Look at those babies. So I'll be sticking those on a few things. We've got the manual, lots of different languages. You get a strap with the NX8. You don't get it with the NX6. I need a spare strap, so that's awesome. I don't have to buy one. This uses a USB charging. It doesn't plug into the main, so you've got that. And then, of course, you've got the actual transmitter itself. So I can transfer everything from my DX9 onto here, because I don't use more than eight channels. It's got all the controls that I have on my DX9, so I'm really happy with that. I can transfer everything over using the little SIM card. And I'll be able to use this in place of my DX9, which as soon as I've transferred stuff onto it, my DX9 is going for a service, major service, on which they will fix the problem I've got with this scroll wheel. Manual, stickers, strap. Very nice. Now I'm told that the NX8 upwards in this ra range have bearing controls. I don't know if it's me psychologically, but they do feel better than the NX6 ones and they're adjustable. I'm really happy with that and I'm happy with the price I've paid and I'm happy I got rid of my NX6. Moving right along, here's the second package. This is a Banggood purchase. It's one of the rare occasions that I purchase something having seen other unboxings and reviews about it. I very rarely take any notice of what the so-called influencers say about the free products they get sent. This one I wanted to see for myself. I use someone's link to the product so they get a little something but I also got a discount code and I actually picked this up including shipping for 100 UK pounds. Let's open this up and see what we've got inside. Right, and there it is. It's the E-Sheen F16 50mm EDF. Let's take a look at it. I purchased this five days ago, shipping from China, and it arrived five days. Absolutely brilliant. Also, Mr. HMRC didn't interfere. Packaging is almost like the Durafly packaging, you know. You've got the plane inside, you've got the phone supports, and you've got this U-shaped uh, piece of card over it. That's 
almost like a Durafly piece of packing, but this one isn't Durafly. The fact is, I don't think you can get any spares for it though. Just take a look at these as they come out. Okay, so the seal bags. That's a good start, good sign. This is very impressive. And do you know what? I think these are water transfers. Lovely colour blue. Yep, okay, there's your fin. No rudder. Wow, that's quite nice as well. Look at that. Okay, it's foam hinged. They're not laminated. It's got a lot of paint on it. <laughs> Painted well. Missiles or rockets or whatever. Missile is guided, a rocket isn't, or something like that. I can't remember. Keith did tell me. Uh, already glued on, painted, very nice, very nice indeed. Small wing, place for the spar. And the servo connector, and your servo is already in there, and taped and covered up. That is quite impressive, you know. Quite impressive. There's the other wing, exactly the same. Tiny ailerons. There's no light showing through there at all. I might put a bit of tape on the underside. Yeah, very nice. It looks as though it's got a blue undercoat and then they just sprayed it grey. The missiles are really well done. They're really good and they're solid and firm. Yeah, that's very nice. Very nice indeed. This is so much like a Durafly type thing. Anyway, here's uh, the spa. It's quite a thick spy, you know. Oh yeah, lovely. It goes right through to the end. And then that will go through the fuse and then you've got the same on the other side. There's your wings. Cockpit's like, canopy cockpit. Yeah, that's nice. Such good quality. Tiny little injection moulding marks lovely paint job uh, tongue and groove with magnet fitting and they've got the piece of tape on the back so you can lift it up this is impressive I've never bought an e-sheen anything in my life there's the goodie bag four push rods now it's got the clevises on the end there. Personally, I don't think they look good. They look quite brittle. They, I might be totally wrong. They've got tiny bits of fuel tubing on it, next to useless. So I will be providing my own, and I might replace the actual clevis itself. Then you've got a plastic nose cone and a bit of Velcro probably to hold your battery in and that is it there's no screws at all no screws at all hmm. it looks like we'll be doing gluing horizontal stabilizer and elevator tiny tiny things look at them They're tiny again super painting over it and they've actually left this area blank so you don't have to scrape it away, you can apply your glue and stick it on. This is something I have not yet seen any reviewer talk about. This model is made, or it's designed, so that glue the horizontal stabilizers on, 
but you do not glue the wings in. Everybody I've seen who's made a video of this said, oh, we'll glue the wings in. Again here, you can see they've left this bit blank. You apply glue here to this one and you glue it onto the fuselage. The main wings, as can clearly be seen, they have not left an area for you to apply glue without having to remove paint. That is because, as I said, this is designed push fit wings. Now it's up to you whether you're going to do that or not, but that's the design. And this is what impressed me about this, is that it's actually quite a substantial size. Now it's got these little connectors here, and one here for each of the wings. You have to work out which is the signal and which isn't, and you can pull them out slightly. lovely paint job again all over it and water slide decals all in place not a crinkle in sight see even here they have taken the paint away as they have here because these glue together like that it's a lovely size you know it really is a lovely size I zoomed in. Yeah, let's move out a bit. It is a lovely size aircraft. It's got a one, two, three, it must be a 12 blade EDF unit. Servos already installed here and here. Paint's been taken away from here to match these. So you can glue them in like this. That just glues in there like that and the angle and everything is absolutely how you need it because it glues in square but the wings as i said i can show you this my personal opinion from reading the marketing spiel about this aircraft that these wings go on like that and that is it Obviously the aircraft is of the size, you might as well glue it, but the area here is not stripped of paint. But this is great fuselage, look at that. Got your strap, oh, hey, XT60, elevator, throttle and aileron and that's all you get. Now I've been told well, it's best to pull this hatch out. You can get it out. It's glued in, but you can get that out. I won't do it now because I might damage it. And check your rods, your, your spar, and there's loose cables in here that you need to perhaps hot glue down into place. I think it was uh, RC Sailors. They had the EDF unit chew up these wires. So I'll definitely be taking that off here definitely be taking that off and um, hot gluing all the wires in place down or basically in the top of the fuselage so they can't be sucked in anywhere uh, the rods are nice tight fit fins here plastic fins this is a plastic grid it's all really well fitted really well glued in a little skid here and of course you get your plastic nose cone that is keyed in to a slot at the front yeah very nice I actually have a little user manual I won't read it yet, it's got the CG here. And here's the other thing. 
glue the nose cone on. You use something called sticky. You sticky in the vertical stabiliser. You sticky in the horizontal stabilisers. There is no sticky on the wings. As you can see, it's a nice size airframe. In fact, it's bigger than the Arrows Hobbies Viper 15mm EDF Viper. I'm going to enjoy this. So, there it is from Banggood. So, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay well. Please come and join me on another video, probably the build for this one. Cheers!